and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're back in Georgia, and being back in Georgia, it's, it's 9.30, 9.45 in the morning. It's 80 degrees outside, about 100% humidity. I haven't even started working yet. I'm soaking wet. So there you go, and there you have it. Anyways, before we begin, I want to take another moment to take a, give a shout out to all the, all the wonderful folks I met down in Louisiana. I had a great time. I learned a lot, and uh, I hope I will see you again next year. Now, get into what we're going to be doing today. Now, I, I said I wasn't going to be worried about the back bench and the videos. I'm just going to take care of the front bench. But this morning I came out and I looked inside the lid of the Navy Hive, and we have a hive beetle situation. So we're going to be addressing this hive beetle situation. The hive beetles are back and they're back in force. So, so with all that said, let me get my gear on, let me get my smoker lit, and we will get started. All right, so before we begin, I just want to make sure that we all are on the same page. We understand exactly what's going on with this hive. Um, a couple of things. One, it does have a slide-in bottom board and it does have the Guardian on the front. So any beetles that are in this hive, they came in through that Guardian entrance. And this goes back to my Guardian video. I do not think that the Guardian works. I think it's a gimmick. So there you go and there you have it. Again, according to me and my bee yard in Georgia with my hive beetles, my hive beetles may be smarter than the average hive beetle. I don't know, but the Guardian doesn't work for me. That's number one. Um, number two, I already have looked into this hive this morning and I saw that there are a ton of hive beetles in here so we know that this hive is infested and I've got I've actually got a bucket of soapy water over here and I know exactly where they are I'm going to be able to get most of them out in one fail swoop without hurting any bees I hope so we're going to try to to drown them in soapy water so they can't fly away and get back into the hives again um, so that's number two number three if you've been following this channel you realize that this used to be a flow hive I have a, a flow super on here and I had the frames were full and I was ready to harvest. Now, the marine hive has still not been harvested yet, but this one I did do a harvest. Unfortunately, it was windy as heck that day and I couldn't use any of the video. Um, so I just took the honey, I put it in a, in, in a bucket and I fed it back to the girls. So they've probably consumed all that honey, got it down into their, into their uh, standard uh, deep, or their standard deep and medium brood chamber down there. So I'm sure they're good on resources. But the bucket that I used to feed them their honey back with that that bucket in, in the in the lip of it when i looked in here this morning there were probably 200 hive beetles i don't know a lot of hive beetles we're going to find out because i'll probably count them when we're done if i can manage to drown them and, and do what i want to do um that said if there's any any honey left in that bucket which i don't think there there is going to be any but if there is i'll just kind of try to try to bang the hive beetles off and we'll we'll see what happens and the last thing, again, it's it's dearth. So being that it's dearth, the minute I open this thing up, I don't want to set off a robbing situation. I do want to inspect this hive a little bit, so we will go through it. Um, and I also, if there's time, I would like to go through the Space Force and the Coast Guard hives. Um, I've not been through those hives since I caught the swarms and put them in those boxes. So I don't know what's happening there. They look like they're doing a great job. They, they look healthy. Maybe I'll just leave them alone. I don't know. Um, but I do want to address the hive beetle situation that is in here and uh, hopefully in the future one day we will go through this flow hive and, and drain it maybe next week i don't know it depends on on the weather it's got to get a little bit cooler it's just too hot to do anything out here so let's uh let's see what we can see here first we're going to look at the bottom board i hope there's not a lot of hive beetle larva that'll be no good oh hive beetles oh lots of hive beetles oh okay so good news and bad news good news is I don't see any larvae running around on the bottom. Bad news, there were a lot of hive beetles on this bottom board. Now there's none. I've, I've gone to the, the, the board of doom and I've uh, gotten rid of them. But if there's that many on the bottom and as many as I saw on the top, I wonder what I'm gonna find in the hive. The goal was to take it out, show you the bottom board and we could all ooh and ah about what we saw on there. But all I saw were thousands of hive beetles. So we killed them. All right, so I'm going to run some smoke up to the bottom of this hive. Let these girls know I'm coming. Okay, there's some hive beetles. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay, I didn't expect that. They're everywhere on the outside too. Oh, okay. Here we go. We're going to get rid of this. They've gone off the bucket. Oh, okay. They're getting the, I, I had to sacrifice a few bees in the soapy water, but there were a ton. 
of Hot Wheels right there. Okay, we'll leave that sit a second. Okay, I don't know whether you can see what it is I found, but I had hive beetles all along the inside here. Tons of them. There's still some crawling through the screen. Oh no, okay. Let's let these girls know we're coming. This is where it gets kind of sketch. These girls are not gonna be happy that I'm in the, oh, more hive beetles. And see, they're flying around. They're gonna get back into the hives. Oh no, I hate this. All right, anyways, these girls are not going to be happy that I'm in here. I'm going to put my gloves on right now. All right. Here we go. Check the bottom really quick. For more hive beetles. There's one. Now we are going to go through this hive really fast. Now I've got so much sweat running down into my face I can barely see. Take a nice frame out of the middle here. Okay. Okay, they've got some they've got some honey. I can't see whether or not you can see that. It's so bright out here. They've got some honey on there. On both sides, no hive beetles, so maybe they had them all in the top and in the bottom. There's sweat running down my face. This is this is miserable. Wrong time of year for me to be getting into this hive. I tell you that. But I just want to see some brood and see if there's any more hive beetle infestation throughout the rest of the hive. And so far, I've not seen any, which is a good sign. Okay, they do have honey. I don't see any brood. I don't see a queen. But I also do not see any hive beetles, so that is a that is a bonus. I'm going to go ahead and put, put this back. Well, I'll bet those cicadas are loud on the on the microphones, aren't they? Not a whole lot I can do about it. Okay. Oh, there's some. Look at that. That's some janky comb. That is just weird. It's all honey, though. I guess that's what happens when you feed them honey. Okay, there's some brood. That makes me happy. Do we have a queen on here? I do not see a queen, but I also do not see, do not see the first hive beetle inside this hive. And I, I think that if I do end up seeing any in here, it's going to be hive beetles that actually got in through the top. Okay, okay, we have more brood. Do we have a queen on there? And I just here, so we have we have a lot of resources in this hive. We have we have brood. I mean things are looking good. I'm not at all disappointed with what I'm seeing. But there you go. So let me just tell you. So for those of you who are new to beekeeping. And for those of you that are new to this channel, let's start with that. The ones of you who are new to this channel, I've had a huge problem with hive beetles in my apiary for the last few years. I've tried the Guardian, I've tried oil traps, I've tried everything I can think of. And now I'm, I'm working on solid bottom boards and not using screen bottom boards anymore to prevent the beetles from getting into the hive any way that I can. And unfortunately, they're flying right through the Guardian, but that's neither here nor there. If you're a new beekeeper and you don't know what happens when you get hive beetles, it's not pretty. Um, what they will do, and, and I've, I've found out that they like to lay lay their, their eggs, their larvae, it looks like little maggots, um, in pollen patties that you put in your hive um, or on your comb. And they will, I guess, pupate in there. They will run through. They will, they will eat and slime out your hive and really make it gross and unusable. And sometimes, I guess, it can get to the point where the, where the bees just abscond. They say, we're not dealing with this anymore, and they leave. That said, I want to make sure that I also share with you something that I learned from Mike Berry, and that is that hive beetles will generally take over and, and destroy a weak hive. Now, this is not a weak hive. This is a strong hive, and that's probably why they were able to keep them at bay, and they were the, the hive beetles were, were in the top and the bottom of the, of the box, but none in the brood nest so far. Um... But there you go. Uh, a strong hive is, is the, I guess, your best defense against hive beetles. A weak hive, you're toast. You are toast. 
Okay. I see more brood. I don't see the queen running around there, but then again, it's hard for me to see because I have water dripping into my eyes. It is so hot. Oh, there's some more brood. Look at that. Now, if you see the queen, shout her out. Oh, I have eggs all over this side. Okay, so, so the queen is in this upper box, or she has been very recently, which also tells me that they are doing a great job of keeping the hive beetles out of the brood nest because there's no way she would lay brood that close to the hive beetles, in, in my opinion. I mean, I'm not a entomologist. I don't, I don't study insects, but I do observe my bees. Uh oh, okay, I, I see you. I have a guard, getting kind of crazy. Don't get crazy, I'm not here to hurt you. Okay, we have some, some capped honey there. Okay, this, this is great. And let me tell you what's great. What's great is that I'm not seeing any hive beetles. I mean, I don't think we saw one hive beetle down in here. This is, this is, this is good. I will take it. I will take it. Okay, this hive's getting loud. So the question is, should we go down one? Hello. Probably asking a bit much of the bees. But then again, I really want to see if the hive beetle situation has, has migrated down to the bottom. Yeah, let's just, we're going to take a quick look, and if it gets too sketchy, then we'll just get out. Oh, there we go. There you go, girls. All right, and again, this looks strong down here as well. Hello, ladies. Hello. I'll try not to drip any sweat on you. This is miserable. I usually have a headband up underneath my veil, and... I think I left it in the car. I took it down to uh, Louisiana with me just in case I got the opportunity to work some bees with somebody. There is a hive beetle, but that must be one that got out of the top. It's on the outside. That's all I can see there. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look in just a couple of frames here and see what we can see. I'm here to help. Help me, help you. Okay. What do we see? Okay, they're drawing that comb out. This is nice. They're drawing new comb out this time of year. That is amazing. Okay, and that... Oh, now that's all... It's all bee bread. So pollen right there. So I'm thinking that if they're drawing comb out this time of year, that, that's a good sign. I think that, that means they, they might be healthy. They look healthy. I don't, I don't see anything crazy. Now, we are going to have to get out here and do an OA treatment. We'll probably do that once it cools down a little bit. And something else I want to do. Anything happening there? Nothing at all happening there. Um, something else I want to do is I want to level out all these hives. And basically, on all the bee barns anyways, I want to, I want to remove all the, the excess supers and just put a, a full deep on each one of the hives and then take the rest of the honey and freeze it and wait till they need it um, later in the year. Man. Let me have a gander. Oh, that's another nice frame of brood. Look at that. This is a great frame of brood. And the other side as well. Okay, so here is what I am not seeing. I'm not seeing a hive beetle infestation in here. And these bees have been very, very patient with me. I am going to... Uh, that is another solid frame of brood right there. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out. I, I, I don't need to, I don't need to get these girls going any, any more than I have. Here you go. I think we did a fantastic job with this hive. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure, and I tell you what, I am soaking wet. It is, it is hot, humid, and, and horrible 
here in mid Georgia in mid summer. It's uh, just a, it's a, a humid factory. It's like uh, again, I'm swimming through the beehives again. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. We did manage to see a lot of hive beetles inside the Navy hive today, and we did learn one very important lesson and that is keep your hive strong. If your hive is strong, the, the hive beetles can't really get down into the hive because the bees do a great job at wrangling the hive beetles and they kept them on the bottom board and above the screen shim and in the rim of that bucket uh, inside my hive. So there you go. So all you new beekeepers out there, just keep strong hives and you should be in pretty good shape. So with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this adventure. I know it was a short one this week, but I really can't stay out here much longer because it's hot. I just don't want to deal with it. So if you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. And some days are fun days and some days are work days. And this is a work day and it's sweaty and gross, but there you go and there you have it. With all that said, be happy. Have a great week. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Thank you.